Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. Well, the home team has certainly piled up the W's here on home ice, and they'll try to do it one more time on this stand tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Bruins win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. The Islanders have it now. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Holmstrom. Puck grab by Mackey. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And loses possession after a solid hit. Moves the pass in front. The shot. Bridgeport's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Holmstrom. Trying to get it out of their own end. Loses his balance on the play. Now he slides it up to Olivier. Great stick work with the steal. Grabbed along the board by Helgeson. Bridgeport's got the puck against the half wall. Comes up with the stop. Providence has got it in their own zone. Puts it on net. Oh, and he's dialed in tonight. What a save on that one. Skerek styled in, James. I mean, he's coming off of a shutout, and he continues right where he left off with a huge save early in the game. Puck scooped up by Paul. The Islanders take over on possession. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Center and field. James, because man, he has had one heck of a shutout streak going for him. He has been so dialed in. It'll end tonight. But man, has he ever been outstanding. The Bruins draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one, and you've got to wonder if it now opens the game up. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Here's a shot! Kaiser's gonna hang on for a whistle and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. Delayed penalty looming. Whistle stops the play. Well, the coach isn't gonna be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The Islanders take possession here inside the offensive zone. Minette pulls off a stick and off to the side. Hammers it on net. Providence has got possession while under man. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Maggio. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Wide of the net, he missed. Oh man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Taken by Paul. Wow, they got thunderstruck on the play. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Tosses it on to Brown. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Bridgeport's in transition. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Providence's penalty killers get a hold of it. Quick pass across to Zaitsev. Takes the pass from the left wing. Maggio's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Mitchell's got it in the defensive end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Takes it into the slot. Great 
puck movement, James, working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. Another big face-off, Logan, as this power play rolls on here tonight. Kirk's won the draw here in the open ice. The Bruins have it now. Handles the puck. Sends it over to Kirk. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Bruins gain control of the puck. The Islanders don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Here they come, three of them. Oh my goodness, what a save there. Here's a chance to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. He's in, he scores. Gets his own rebound and makes a count. James, I mean, this guy just knows how to score goals. He's got a net for the net, pure goal score, and that's why he's leading his team. Bridgeport's counterpunched here in the first period, and they're right back into it. Well, yeah, you can look at the game in different bunches, and this one is certainly going to mean something, resetting and finding a way to create some much-needed offense. Providence has gained possession along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Brown's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And the players whistle dead, and here's the call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find your way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Here's a pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Bridgeport's got the puck in the defensive end, and they get that puck down the ice. No front, and that goes off a stick. Slides the puck across to Kubiak. Sends it into the offensive zone. Laukos lugging the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Takes the pass. Moves the puck. Here's the pass. And that doesn't connect. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. And the puck clears the zone. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they send it down the ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Skerek. The Devils have been playing great defensively. Their sticks are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. The Bruins win it. Puck picked up by Kaiser. The Bruins fail to capitalize on the power play. Coach won't be happy with that, James. Didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion and make adjustments based on what they're doing, and this power play unit didn't do any of it. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Moves it to the middle. And scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Well, this is a hardworking goal as well, James. You gotta fight for that inner area of the ice. You know, when you're in that low slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're going to come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. Here in the later stages of this period, Providence has really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And now it's grabbed by Paul. Takes the feed. Centering feed! And it goes off a stick and off target. Shot! The Islanders gain possession in their own end. And now he angles it across to 2-4. Oh, 
Broken up in the neutral zone by Zaitsev. Quick pass to Paul. And that's blocked in traffic. Hutton's taking it from his own end. Quick stop. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. And that was off the player in front. Paul's got it behind his own net. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Paul's stick handling in his own zone. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Mitchell's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Now lining up here for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Providence has almost been perfect in that first period, James. I mean, the coach is going to be so impressed with the possession and the execution. They've got a two-goal lead. Now they have to find a way to bring it in the second as well. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it on over to Mitchell. Into the offensive end right up the middle. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Bridgeport's got possession of the puck. Chance in front, and that goes off the body and a ride. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Takes it to the net, and he scores. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want, and he capitalizes perfectly. We're still in the early stages of this period. Bridgeport's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Plays it to the middle. to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Providence has extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Puck sent over to Zaitsev. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Paul. Center into the middle. And that's stopped. Bridgeport's got a hold of the puck. The Islanders gain possession. Johnson's got it along the wing. Can't keep a hold of it. Bridgeport's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that's blocked from someone in front. They clear the zone. Quick pass over to Sevigny. The Islanders move to the offensive zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to the middle. On the stick, and they can't complete the play. Koifula's picking up steam. Play is blown dead with the offside. The Islanders have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. A chance to get it out. And his teammate comes up with it. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Strong defensive effort. 
Moves it quickly over to Cobrula. Huge steal in his own end. Kaiser's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Big time stop by Skerritt. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. The Islanders played along the boards. Centering feed. Couldn't complete the pass. Cutting to the slot. Poked away by Kaiser. And it's a quick pass to Anderson. And the puck hops out of the offense. And all alone on the breakaway. Oh, I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Bruins have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Takes the knot, but he's still got the puck. Bridgeport's looking to break out. Solid check to slow him down. And now he moves it quickly to Hall. Here's an odd man rush. And that pass attempt is deflected. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Takes the feed. Look at the Savardi. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Well, this is a fantastic shot that beats the goaltender clean and hits the post. Doesn't come out, redirects right back in. That's a fortuitous bounce for the shooter. Bridgeports look way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Mackey's got the puck. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. They go on the attack through center. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kaiser. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Great save right there on the play. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Providence has got him along the wall. Quick shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Slides the puck down low. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Right off Main Street and on the attack. Takes the shot. And that one's turned aside. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Providence has got the puck against the boards. And there's the save on the play. Centering feed, and that's intercepted. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. Delayed penalty coming up here, and he's knocked off the puck there. There's the whistle, and here's the call. A tight game at the end of a period, and you take a penalty. Your PKers have to come up huge and get you to the intermission. Taking possession in their own end. Setting up behind his own net now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Bridgeport's got the puck. Fritz plays it now. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Poked away at center by Kuhlman. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Keeps possession from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. The Bruins play it along the wing. Oh, big time save by Skerritt. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Lauko side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. On the air, mailed it right over the net. Oh, yeah, an opportunity lost here, James. He sees the daylight at the top of the net, and he just sails it high. Yeah. 
There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. we back with more tomorrow. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Providence has won the draw here to open this frame, and they've still got to kill off a few more seconds of this penalty. Scooped up along the wall by Paul. Holmstrom's got the puck in his own zone. Zaitsev's almost ready to get back on the ice. Bridgeport's one goal deficit remains intact as the man advantage unit can't convert. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. And that doesn't reach the net. Slides it quickly to Holmstrom. He carries the puck up along the wing. Grabs control of it at the point. Slides it over with pace to Brown. Gaining momentum up along the side. Mackey's gaining momentum. Puck not loose after that hit. Now he takes it over the line. A chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. And that goes off course off a body. Here's a chance! Quick stop by Kaiser. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Puck scooped up by Mitchell. Let's move to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Quick feed to Maggio. Bridgeport's gained the line and into the zone. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Bridgeport's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Great read with the stick. Takes the feed from his netminder. Providence has got it in their own zone. Knocked away by Helgeson. The Islanders have it now. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And they score! James now have won the gate, their power play opportunity, but here when you capitalize, you don't get the power play. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Bridgeport's got the tying goal, and now can they find that go-ahead goal, Cheryl? They continue the momentum, they certainly can. They look like they're playing free, so they're moving their feet, they're being creative, and they're attacking. They're looking to win this game, not just keep it at evens. Feeds it down low. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Providence has jumped in front by one here to start this third period. Well, they're exactly where they want to be, James. They're leading this game. They're in the third period and they're owning puck possession. Now it's just being aware, managing the puck, making sure if they're in trouble high in the offensive zone, they get it deep. Take care of the puck, and you'll take care of the game. Here's a chance in front. The Islanders have it from their own end. Slick feed. Pushes it across to Helgeson. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Kaiser. Providence has got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. The Bruins fan base has been buzzing over the last 24 hours speculating what this road trip looks like when they open up on the road for their next game and a lot of points up for grabs. Let's see how it plays out. Slides the puck down low. Moves around along the half wall. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And some good footwork to kick it away. Passes the puck over to Dufour. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Driving right to the front. 
Kaiser stopped the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. The Bruins win the defensive zone face-off, and he moves it up to Brown. Sends it in front, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Bridgeport's had countless shots throughout the night, but they still find themselves behind the eight ball here in period number three. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. With possession along the wall. And that's intercepted by Skerritt. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. More than half the period has expired. Nine goals and counting so far. It's 5-4. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a feed in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. The Islanders take it across the line. And that's deflected off someone in front. Quick shot! Oh, he got puddled by Kaiser! Scores! And a big-time goal here in the third! Even things up! Well, there wasn't much wiggle room left, James, but they found a way to put it in, and that's because of the full-court press that they've exhibited in this third period. That's a really tough defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it top fins. The Islanders have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here at a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, you score a goal like this often, you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. Kubiak's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And that's picked up by Mitchell. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. The Islanders get a hold of the puck under man. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Handles the pass. They gain the zone from the left side. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Providence has got control of it now from their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, I thought he had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg just bear down the bottom hand as well, but he's unable to convert. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Moves it to Sevigny. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. The Bruins have it now. Providence's power play can take advantage. And you know what? A real blown opportunity to seize the momentum in this one. Part of being an elite athlete is recognizing the timing of when you get your opportunity. Pressure and embracing it is everything. Everyone in the building, the staff, your team knows how important that was. And it was a miss. Bridgeport's got the puck along the wall. With some open space at center. To the low slot. Oh, what a save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Sean! Oh, wow! Stops him again! Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Lauko's won it off the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Olivier. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Yep. 
And there's the buzzer. 60 minutes have been played, and we are still tied. Let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next here on EA Sports. Who's walking away with the W tonight? Overtime should give us an answer, and they're ready to drop the puck. All right, get your sudden death OT pools going. Get your social media predictions. Overtime is underway, people. Oh, what a save! That was the game right there! Wow! Timing is everything, James, and this is overtime. You have to outbattle your opponent. And wow, what a beautiful save and read by the tender. Quick feed down low. Moves it up. Providence has got the puck against the half wall. There it is! In overtime, they take it! Wow! And these fans are on fire! They are living it! A great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off. Tonight for all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabelski saying peace.